the story of Joseph involves a well like this one. He was thrown down it by his own brothers after receiving dreams, you know, the famous dreams, the technicolored coat as uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber has made famous. The story of Joseph unfolded here in Egypt. His brothers threw him down a well out of jealousy, but God had a purpose and plan for his life. Joseph then went down to Egypt. You know the story. He spent time serving in Potiphar's house. He refused to give in to the temptation of Potiphar's wife. And for that, he was then thrown down again. The story of Joseph initially keeps going down, down into a well, down into prison. But God had a purpose for Joseph. He brought him to Egypt, Abraham's great grandson, for a purpose. And soon, Joseph was lifted up out of prison and raised up to be second only to Pharaoh. Out of the darkness then of that well and that prison, Joseph becomes second only to Pharaoh because of dreams. What is it about Joseph and dreams, right? He, he gets in trouble with his brothers for sharing the dreams about him being raised up above them, but then it's Pharaoh's dreams that get him out of that prison and cause Joseph's life to save many other lives right here in Egypt. So Joseph ended up down in Egypt, but now no longer a slave or in prison, but through Pharaoh having dreams, Joseph was raised up to become second only to Pharaoh in Egypt. You may know this story, but Pharaoh has dreams. He sees fat cows by the Nile, seven of them, and then he sees thin cows devouring the fat cows by the Nile, and no one else can interpret it, but Joseph, he believes God can interpret dreams, and he speaks to Pharaoh, and he reveals that there are gonna be seven years of plenty, boom in the economy, lots of harvest, and then seven years of famine. Pharaoh knows this is the, the, the Spirit of God, the one who can reveal the truth. And so he appoints Joseph to make plans to ensure that Egypt has food through these next years. So here you can find actually today, there's storehouses that have been built in this archeological dig, housing grain. This is what Joseph did for seven years. They housed the grain in the plenty. And then when there were seven years of famine, right here in Egypt, because of Joseph's wisdom, there was food, not just for Egypt, but the nations of the earth surrounding Egypt started coming down to Egypt to get grain. And amongst the people who came down were Joseph's brothers. Can you imagine that? The ones who'd sold him into slavery, thrown him down that well, they made their way down and there was food for them as well because Joseph chose not to seek revenge, but to forgive, to be reconciled. It's the most beautiful story in the Bible, I think, about this theme of reconciliation. They embrace, they hug. Joseph allows the past to become in the, to stay in the past and offers a new future to these brothers. I love the last verse of uh, Joseph's story. Genesis 50 verse 20, where Joseph says to the brothers, you intended to harm me, but God meant it for good for the saving of many lives. Right here in Egypt, that verse was fulfilled. God had a plan. Even when we think there's crazy chaos in our lives, God has a plan and he puts things for good. Joseph learned that here and we've got to learn that lesson today as well.